welcome to war-torn Afghanistan. Right now we're at a place called Tarnak Farms, which was a uh, place not too far away from Kandahar Airport where we're based. And uh, it was held by Al-Qaeda not more than two months ago. We bombed the heck out of them, so they left. Right now, today, um, we brought some of the ordnance that we found that used to belong to the Taliban. We're going to blow it up. So it will never be a, a danger to us or anybody else. What to come from Kandahar. We're going to go over there and check out the explosion. Alright. Alright. Hey buddy, let's round up, get in the vehicle. Leave one vehicle behind. We need to get our security call in. Yep. Right now we're moving the trucks away from the explosion area so as to not get injured by the blast. As you can see, this country is very beautiful in its essence and also worth fighting for. We didn't get blown up on the way. Fire in the hole. Wow, that was cool. We should have had that one on uh, New Year's. Okay, we're gonna be here for a while. <laughs> That's right about that. That was nice. <laughs> Kandahar Airport has been relatively safe since we've been here. Uh, we arrived on December 18th, uh, just as the Marines uh, took over the field. It's been safe even though we've had threats, several threats of attack by uh, Al-Qaeda and the Taliban that are left in the area. You ask me, I think they're all cowards and they don't have the, they don't have the uh, guts to attack us, especially since our defensive stance is so strong. Uh, most of the enemy has fled to a region called the Tor Bora, and it's a series of mountain ranges with uh, vast networks of caves, though they have fled from Tor Bora, some of them, into Pakistan where they're being rounded up to be sent back here to the Kandahar Airport for interrogation. Screw the fuse well in that thing. Just basically, uh, this one right here, um, they found 120 of these and a bunch of projectiles in the governor's mansion on the roof. Oh, well. Set to command detonate. Yeah, we went and got all, you know, but these are everywhere. You know, the Russian ordinance is everywhere. This yeah. right here, this is a TC6, the top of a uh, Italian landmine. The pressure plate, and it's real easy. You just unscrew. 
In the bottom section is the, uh, uh, the HE section, yeah. and this is what we've, we found in here. The HE section is stacked with C4 attached with deck cord to the, uh, to the APERS mines. So, but, uh, and the other thing is, we only found two of the uh, tank mines in this configuration. But if you move over here, I found. Uh, but you guys got a bunch of intel out of here. Yeah, we, we pulled, you know, we brought the, uh, the intelligence guys. We found a, a library that was just binders and binders, you know, huge, big black binders with nothing but paper clippings of uh, about President Bush, paper clippings about. Uh, all the terrorist activities that are happening around the world, just clippings of everything. Yeah. We don't know if they were involved in all that or but they've been keeping they've been keeping track. They pulled all that off the target. Yeah. There's still more in here, you know, but we're kinda of leery on, on running <laughs> around here. Uh, we have found some some underground areas, you know, we trying to exploit the caves and get in there and see what's going on. What is this place called and what was it used for? Tarnak Farms. And it's uh, the Al Qaeda training camp. Bin Laden actually stayed here. Yeah, yeah. His uh, his house was in here, where he stayed. You can tell it's one of the nicer houses. It's got palm trees, <laughs> and uh, and right next door, yeah, and right next door he had a physician, his personal physician that lived right next to him. Oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's a complex structure. I mean, this this was a serious, you know, this was the this was the main Al Qaeda training camp in Afghanistan, right here. Oh, it was. It wasn't like you're not considering one of many. It was like the biggest. This is the biggest one. Okay. Yeah, this is this is where Al Qaeda, Al -Qaeda did most of the training. Because you can see by the buildings, you don't see very many nice buildings in Afghanistan. Right. I mean, that's a big complex. You know, a lot of these structures are pretty elaborate. You know, and set up for specific things. Anybody know when it was built? No, I, I could tell you that. The doors. After seeing EOD destroy the HN-5SA uh, missiles, visiting Tarnak Farms, which was the heart of the Al-Qaeda movement, that was the main training camp in Afghanistan, we're heading back to uh, Kandahar Airport, to the main uh, gate. Today is the 11th of January 2002. What you just saw was a mission that we did on the 10th of December uh, where we went out to Tarnak Farms to de detonate, to de destroy some uh, surface to air missiles that the pa Taliban used to own. And uh, today we're out here again on the 11th doing the same thing, except for we're doing twice as many. I made a comment yesterday that uh, the enemy was too cowardly to attack attack us at Kandahar Airport, but I spoke too soon. About, uh, I guess it, it was about 8 o'clock at night when the first plane, C-17, was departing with the first prisoners to go to Guant Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Uh, the enemy did, in fact, attack, and uh, for about three hours, it was pretty hairy. I mean, there was a lot of, a lot of rounds going off. Uh, no casualties on our side, to, um, I'm glad to say. Um, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and film uh, what we're doing today. We're doing uh, about 80 more uh, HN-5 SA missiles today, and it should be exciting. We're going to use 
a whole bunch more of uh, uh, C4 than we did yesterday. So, see a nice show up. These are some of the remains of yesterday's rockets. As you can see, the C4 does its work. Nice one. 